Okay guys, welcome to another unboxing video. I think it's my fourth one today. I'm unpacking everything that I bought at the last Dayton convention, actually on Saturday, two days ago. And I kept the unboxing to do it with you. Because I do believe that unboxing videos are interesting for people who wanted to buy a radio, wanted to know what's in the box, what's included, what's not. Here what I have now, is the ID5100 Hey from Icon. This is a dual band transceiver, dual VFO at the same time, RX, TX, and it do D-Star as well, and it do cross band repeat, I believe. And I did look at the new ID4100. I would have bought it as well to do the review, but there is some limit with our budget, okay? And uh, the only budget I had uh, you know, I had to make some choice, like everyone. And the ID5100 suited more my needs to put it in my shack because it has dual VFO. And this will replace actually my IC7100 that I traded off. And this will be my shack rig. It has a large display. And I bought a rack to put it on. I will unbox that later on and you will see it together. But this is the ICOM ID5100A. The price was very close to the ID4100. So that's why I picked this one up. So let's open the box. Let's open the box like this. This is the deluxe model. It has, I think, the uh, magnet bracket or something like that, okay? Because the guy that sold me the mount for it asked me if I had that bracket before. And he says, if you have the deluxe, you have one. So that must be it. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this that has the display. You're gonna see this radio has a large display on it. How am I? Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna have to cut off the tape to get it out, okay? There you go. This is the ID5100 display. I won't, I won't get it out of the bag right now, right away. Look at the size of it. This is beside my face. I got a big head, okay? This is the display. <laughs> so this for a shack operation, nice. Very nice, very nice display. I heard the only good thing about this radio, by the way, in the past, okay? So this is, okay, so let's take a look. There you go, okay. What's in there, what's in there? probably microphone okay so there is a microphone with DTMF okay so that's good that to have this type of microphone with it it's actually the HM207 there is the faceplate control cable of course there is the power cable I'm gonna put some and this some power pole on it this, uh, yes, this is the magnet. You can see that the magnet are on there. Had some, okay, can you see it? So this is the magnet I was talking about. A mic connector with the sticker in the back, okay? So, and now the radio. Well, the radio should look like any ICOM radio. What about radio now these days? Because they all, Look the same where there's no faceplate. So there is manual and a CD probably with the electronic manual incomplete. I don't know if this manual is complete or it's just part of it. And this is the radio. Very simple. One RF connector. There is the connector in the back. Speaker one, speaker two, oh, for both bands, that's good. And there's data connector, fan. And there is the mic connector, controller, and an SD card for memory. And uh, there is uh, nothing left. So, oh, there's no mobile bracket? I'm surprised, there must be something somewhere, no? Where, where's that? Is there a bracket in there? No. There's no bracket for the radio. 
That's almost impossible, no? Okay. So we'll see. Hold on, I'll look in the manual. I'll look in the manual to see if I miss something. <laughs> you see something that I don't see? But where is the what's in the box? Okay, what's in the box? DC power cable controller. Controller cable. Microphone. CD, spare fuse, mic hanger, operation guide, and there's the magnet bracket with the deluxe one. But there is no mobile bracket for the radio. Fortunately, in the bottom, there is no ventilation, speaker, or anything. So you can leave it like this behind your desk, okay? I'm probably gonna put some anti-slippery legs you know that you stick so to put it up to have a little bit of air kind of coming under and to not scratch it on the surface but this is the id 5100 unboxing hope you did enjoy this one stay tuned for the full review of that product in the next few weeks because i cannot do all at once so stay tuned for that 73 catch you on the air